And what? In the power of his mind. You know, some of you think that you have victory because you fasted. Be strong in the Lord. Uh, not in your power. Uh, I fasted 21 days. This year is going to be good. You are joking. Be strong in the Lord. You know, why the year will be good? Because the Lord is good. Not because you fasted. Because the Lord is good. That's why the year will be good. A child does not boast when he lives in the house of his father about his, about his contribution. You know why the house will be good? Why the house will be abundant, why be abundant in the house? Because the father provides in abundance. That's why. That's why. Be strong in the law. I would never, I would never quit talking about that. Because, see, if you don't focus in the law, if you don't allow your foundation to be in the law, and you ever take your foundation of being yourself, hmm? or to be in the body of Christ, or being what people are thinking, or all those things, eh? Well, know some people have what I call natural endurance. I have a friend like that. Natural endurance. And like my kid brother, let me have natural endurance. If he's hungry because he's too lazy to cook, he will sleep. I have not been able to figure it out all my life. How somebody can sleep in hunger? If I try it, I, two minutes, I can't even sleep. You are hungry, I cannot sleep. In order for me to sleep, sometimes I have to go and eat so that I sleep in longer. But he will sleep in longer. No problem. He's the only kid brother that sees that protects the senior brother. We'll be eating those days when we, when we had money. We'll say, no, no, Biodun, okay, for Pastor T. That is, Biodun, leave that one for Pastor T, you know? You know, they used to come party in those days. They said, no, leave that one for Pastor now, you know? Because they know me, I, can, I can't tolerate. <laughs> I, don't have, I, can, I don't have what it takes to tolerate. I can't, I can't endure. So that means there's no hope of people like us. Some of you, by natural inclination, you... You, you can even, you know what I'm talking about? Your, your fiber, you can endure many things. So, what would be the hope of those who cannot endure? Be strong in the Lord. For Bible says, there is no other foundation any man can lay down, that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. He said, let everybody be careful how they build on it. I don't care your investment to everywhere here. I remember when we do the foundation of this place. You know, this foundation of this place, where we are standing. It's so deep that you could have built another thing under. They were even thinking of getting some buildings that will be going, some free space under, that will be going underneath of this place with staircase. But when we thought of, of, thought of how to aircon it, everything, the cost was more than what we are going to gain. I said, kill it. There's where is higher than this. It's underneath it. You better get it right. Let your foundation be in Christ. When the Bible talks about be transformed by the renew of your mind. Hmm? You know what he said? He said, be, be transformed by the anachronosis of your mind. An anachronosis by, is by the word renovation, by the innovation of your mind. You are renovating your mind. All of you know that renovation sometimes is more expensive than beauty. Because when it comes to beauty, you just, by, by, by you are there. Innovation, you have to tear down what is there to build and do, every, and do it all over again. But that word anachinosis is just more than ordinary innovation. The word anachinosis is, the, it, it, it means that your investment in the superstructure must never be less than the investment in the foundation. That is what you are building on top of the concomitant to what you have invested in the foundation. Can you see the English I'm releasing tonight? Must be commensurate. Yeah, to what you have built under, on, on, under it. So, if the foundation is Christ, you cannot afford to renovate your mind with anything less than Christ. That's what I'm trying to say. So, you cannot say foundation is Christ, you will not begin to renovate your mind with fasting. It's inferior to Christ. You cannot say my foundation is Christ, you will not begin to renovate your mind with hard work. You know, yeah, anybody that's not hard working will be poor. How many poor are hard working and don't have money at all? The harder they work, the poorer they become. So you now begin to renovate your mind with things that are led with, with ideas of men. That's why, why, why Paul said, he says, when I come to you, I didn't come with the excellence of speech. They crying to you the counsel of God. For I never know to know anything among you, save Christ and him crucified. Because that is the only foundation that is sure. So, so that when I speak to you, that your faith will not rest in the wisdom of men. 
but in the power of God. Do you get what I'm trying to say right now? That's how to elevate your mind. Why will you be rich? Not because you read a good course. Not because you are connected. You know why you will be rich? Because he that was rich became poor. So that through his poverty, I might become what? Rich. That's why you'll be rich. Not because you are working hard. Why are you going to be heavy? Not because you are using sanitizer and covering your nose. Cover it. Use sanitizer and even drink it. Put it on top of your food. Are you hearing me? Do all that. But you know why you'll be protected? Are you hearing me? Because by his stripes. Right. Do you understand what I'm talking about right now? Get, let everything, renovation of your mind, be of Christ. Not because there's no trouble. You know why you have peace? He said, my peace I give unto you. Yeah. Have you been just for my faith? We have peace with God. That's why we have peace. Are you hearing me now? Why are you going to be victorious over Satan, over everything? Well, Bible says, he that he became man, and Bible says, he died, that he might shatter, he that had the power of death, that is Satan. That's why we have the victory. Thanks be unto God who has given us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we have victory. Not because you are fasting, because you are praying. That's not enough. Guru Maharaj fast. Muslims fast. People fast. They are doing better than you. Are you hearing about right now? But we have victory because of what Christ has done. Why are you going to heaven? Uh, because I don't drink beer. Because I don't do this. You, you might end up in hell. You know why you, why you go to heaven? Because if any man be what? In Christ. I will have a high priest over the house of God, Jesus Christ, who has gone to the heaven before us. The Bible says everyone will kill after their own order. For if the first fruit is holy, then the whole lump is holy. Do you get what I said? Those are, that's our covenant. Our faith is built on nothing else than Jesus' Lord and what? And righteousness. We dare not trust our sweetest friend. Because at your best, you are less than the, you are even less than the words of God. At your best. So we cannot afford to depend on anything less than what Christ has done. Are you hearing me? Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Be strong, what? In the Lord. Are you getting what we are trying to say right now? If that's all we got here tonight, you got something. Are you hearing me? We must keep emphasizing this thing so we don't drift. Glory be to God forevermore. Because when it comes, some people don't understand some things, wow, my time is running and we're just trying to plow this, you know? Some people don't understand. They will come to Jesus. Hey, what must I do to be saved? Hey, so you see the stupid question right now. What must I do? You want to do? What must I do to prosper? What must I do? You want to do, Abby? Okay. You want to do? Oh, yeah, obey the own law. Ah, all these things have I done. You say, what like I say? You say, you should lack one more thing. Because there's no end. When it comes to do, you will do, 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 and do, and do, or you become a do, do. Are you hearing me? But when it comes to the New Testament, it's what he has done. It's not about do, it's what? Done. Prosperity, done. Healing, done. Peace, done. Success, done. Joy, done. Heaven, done. Done. Do you get what I'm trying to say right now? So that your fellowship with God will be with ease. Shh. Some of us we are saying it's not new to you, but I believe that if you have the spirit of truth in you, it will let you know that what that guy is saying is true. Glory be to God forevermore. Be strong in the Lord and power of his might. Wow. No worry, I will just introduce what I came to do today. We'll continue next week, okay? Put on the old armor of God. Shall you see? It's of everything that we are doing there is of God, not your armor. Put on the old armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. If you are going to put on your armor, you are going to stand though. It's the armor of God that can help you. For we do not want to wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principal, against powers, against lands of darkness, which walk. If this age against flesh, we are going to understand how many places. Okay, go on. Therefore, take up what the old armor of God. That you may be able to do what? To stand in the evil day. And have you done not to do what? To stand. I told you that spiritual warfare is not prayer, prayer all night. Prayer, spiritual warfare is standing. You have seen how many times stand, 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 appear there. And it says, how do we rest against flesh and blood? Therefore, do what? Stand. That is the spiritual warfare. Because it talks about the wise of Satan. 
the tricks and the plans of Satan. Trying to sway you away from what Christ has done. Stand! Does somebody get what I'm trying to say right now? So get all the CDs before. Hallelujah. Our prayer is unto God, not unto Satan. Most churches worship Satan. Let us come again the spirit of Goni. Let's come again the spirit of Ramadiora. Let's come again the spirit of Cho Cho Cho. Let's come again the spirit of Abuja. Let's come again the spirit of this one, spirit of that one. Everybody will pray against every spirit on service is over. When will you pray to God? The way I showed you scriptures here, how they lifted up their voices to God. How Jesus prayed all night to God. I told this prayer is unto God, not taking, not putting Satan before you. Paul said, I bow my knee to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. No, no, we can never say come against Satan throughout the norm. Everything. We just make declaration. I know that God shall bruise Satan on your feet shortly. That's all. That's all. We just mention and go. I pray that you be delivered from wicked and unreasonable men. That's all. We just mention it and go. Hallelujah. But you will see when they talk about God, I pray to God that the Father of Jesus Christ will give it to you, to wisdom and revelation. That it will now go on when it comes to about talking about God. Go on. You say, my little children, you know, I travel in bath again until Christ be from you. Hey, Epaphras, one of you, lay body for you fervently what? In prayer that Christ be what? From, hey, hey, it's going to be a prayer to God that he becomes fervent. Not about Satan. What's up, what's up, let's pray to God for, for, for open doors. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for open doors. Ayeme, ayeme, ayeme too. Ayeme too. Ayeme, ayeme, ayeme too. Ayeme too. Shinkafa, shinkafa, shinkafa. Wake, 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 wake. Do ya, do ya, do ya, do ya. Yeah, we finish that one. Yeah, before to take it high, kunun, kunun jeda, kunun jeda. Yeah, that, you take, that's as high as you go. Then we just go so much more. Let us come against spirit of Satan. How about Father? Satan! You see, you know, you say something is wrong. Our consciousness is, is, is negative. Yeah. We need to break that spirit. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, take up the whole Lamb of God. They are able to withstand. No fight to withstand. No fight. Withstand. That means time to take you away from what Christ has done. Stand. We stand. Do you get what we are trying to say tonight right now? Now goes, or he went on to tell us how to do it from verse 14. Stand here for, shall we see again now? Stand, stand, stand everywhere. Stand there for, we stand, stand, stand there for. Stand there for having guarded your waist with truth. And I want to say with belt of truth. That's the title I'm going to say tonight, the belt of truth. And I will discuss one more after this one. I'll talk about the sheet of faith. Go and find out about the rest of the weapon for you. Rest of the armor for yourself. I will talk about, so today and next week, I will talk about the belt of truth. That do you have, have your waist gathered with what? With, with, uh, gathered with your waist with truth. Have you put on the best of righteousness, everything? And then I, talk, I already talked about your feet being shod. What? With the peace that comes from the gospel. I told you, I, I, go and get all those CD. And, and I'll beg you, some of you, before we go tonight, I, I'm going to make some announcement because we put down all of our YouTube because we are editing them. Uh, all the, something, I will tell you, to, we want to go back and start watching it so that we can have some more watches and uh, more likes and all that stuff, you know. Okay, now it says, go back. What, what, what do we say now? Go back. I don't want to read all. Time is going. Go and read at home. I normally our preference from verses 10 to 18. But let's, we are focusing on verse, 10, on verse um, 14 today. Go back, go back, go back. Who's there? Verse 14. Stand there for. What is the first, first, well, first armor you mentioned? What? Having gathered your ways with truth. The first armor there is truth. Please, you can see the way I'm adjusting my trousers. Hmm? Despite belt being there, guarding your waist with belts of truth. But this is not the kind of belt he's talking about. Just imagine I don't have belt. It's not that we fall down from here. I said, The Lord will make a way. He will just make a way through my life. Just, I, do, do you get what I'm saying? It will be untidy. That's why some Christians' lives are untidy. Everything is out of order. No truth. Finance is out of order. Peace out of order. Everything out of order. No truth. You're getting married. 
ask that man, how much truth does he know about marriage? If he doesn't know, that everything will be out of order. If that lady doesn't know much truth about marriage, everything will be out of order. You go and marry a woman, a woman, a woman liber. Is it liber? What do you call them? Liber? What do you call them? Those who be women liberation people. Mm-hmm. It's not, that's not they call women liberation. It's the doctrine of Satan. Who banned you? Who, who that Christ has made free is free indeed. Who banned you? What do you mean of women liberation? Eshu. Sorry, I don't know what to say. It's Satan that is deceiving you. That's what they call women liberation. Who banned you? Who banned you? Bible says in Christ Jesus, the Bible says there is neither male or female. In Christ. It's a confused identity that makes a person want to be looking for another identity. If you know who you are, Jesus set me free. Why should I be bound? Jesus set me free. Why should I be bound? Jesus set me free. Why should I be bound? Why should I be bound? Shoo! Hallelujah! Oh, doctrine of demons. If you don't understand that there's that a hierarchy in the, in the house, your house will not stand. No prayer, that house will not stand. No prayer will make it stand. If you don't recognize that the husband is the head, not oppressor, the head, that house can never stand. I am telling you, all of you may be looking at me with bad eyes. You watch me on the internet. Don't give offering. Let it be known that somebody told you the truth. You may be more educated, but once you choose to marry that OND man, you submit PhD under OND. You, you are. That's how you. You are. I don't care whether you make more money. That's what you chose. Husband. Because you don't you think you can buy a husband. You didn't buy a toy. You bought a husband. So shall it be. Let me, let me deceive you. You hear me? Let me go back to what I'm saying. Those are the things I talk about. You have to bind yourself with truth. If not, everything will be out of order. Everything will be out of order. Hallelujah. Amen. Waste. It's not, please go and, when you check, go and check the, the kind of belt. It's not this kind of belt. The belt is wide. Very wide. In fact, the, the real word is that that place they wrote waste there is not waste in the, in the original. It's hip. It, the, the, it's so wide that it covers the hip. Everything together. Head. Everything is well held together. Like a girdle. Thank you. That's what it is. Truth. Do you get what I'm talking about right now? Hallelujah. Ah, the question I want to ask you because I want to. The question I want to ask you guys is this. How, why what, or why is it that truth is the first weapon? Have you not asked yourself? Why is the truth the first weapon? Because the greatest weapon of Satan is this city. He really told us there that we may stand against the wiles, against the tricks of Satan. The greatest weapon of Satan is the greatest weapon is deceit and lies. Therefore, the greatest weapon of a Christian is what? The truth. Don't you know how, how Christ describes Satan? John chapter 8, verse 44. Go there. John 8, 44. John 8, 44. Are you happy you came to church tonight? Let's quickly go through the scriptures and I will land somewhere and then we'll go home. I'll just introduce you today. I will define the meaning of truth for you. I'll give four definitions of truth and then we'll go. Then next week, I will tell you six ways to put on the armor. And the armor of truth only, then we'll go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Who's laughing at me because you know, you're praying that I will get there. I will get there. God will help us. Hallelujah. Look at what God, Jesus told them, you are of your father. What? devil. That is, when you see small f in the Bible, it's not of God. Whenever God is referred to, it's capital F. 
Please, can you go back to verse 42? I don't know. You can find it. Find it. I don't find it. Verse 42. Go back to verse 42. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about now? Yeah, thank God. Says, Jesus said to them, if God were what? Your what? Your father. Capital word, A. When you see that capital, my God. When you small, small left, it can be father, earthly father, or Satan. Fake father. Go back. Go, let's go on. Let's even read it. I love reading scriptures. It's good. Read that place. If, Jesus were, if God were your father, you will love me. Anybody that hates Jesus, does he love, does he, it's not of God. We are, we are serving the same religion. Do you love Jesus? That is the bottom line. Yeah. You love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Nor have I, I say, nor have I come of myself, but he sent me. Wow. Why do you not understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my word. Verse 44. You are of your father. The word, the devil. And the desires of your father you want to do. Look at what he says. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not understand or does not stand what? In the truth. What the Bible says we should stand in the truth. He said he does not stand. So he wants to lure you from the truth to where he stands. So that time he tells you are sick. If you agree with him, he has blown you out. That time he told you you, can, you never make it in life. Once you agree with him, he has lured you out. He cannot stand. That's why you stand in the truth because he cannot stand in the truth. When you come to the truth, he cannot survive in that arena. You cannot stand in the truth. Do you get what we are trying to say right now? You like somebody loading a, a room without oxygen, just loading with carbon dioxide. You know, you cannot survive there. The same thing. Truth suffocates Satan. He cannot survive in the truth. Do you get what we are trying to say to you now? Says you have referred. Say, he was a murderer from the beginning. He does not stand in the truth. Why? He said because what there is no truth what in him. When he speaks, <laughs> well, well, when he speaks what? A lie. He speaks from his own what? Resources. Human resources. <laughs> oh, so for what? He is what? A liar and the father of lies. Hallelujah. That is what the greatest weapon of Satan is lie. The father. That is the resources he has. But Bible says when he speaks a lie, it's from his resources. He doesn't, he doesn't borrow it. It comes naturally to him. You know, some people lie because they hear somebody lie. They say something, they want to repeat it. Say so it doesn't, it, no, it's not, it's not repeating on call. From his own, of his own, he can develop one. When he sees that they are tired, he will just introduce something, climate control. They will start running from resources. When they say they are tired, just say gay. Give a good, a bad something, a good name. Uh -uh. You just want to look like you want to be gay. You have a gay life. We'll just give it a name. Everybody will start running with it again. When they say they are tired, they will not look for another name, just throw it at them from the resources. From his resources. Bible says, when he lies, Bible says it's that, natural. For his word is a liar. Not he was, not that he will be. He is a liar. And the father. Of it. So if that was his trademark, then he beholds us that our trademark should be the truth. Because that's the only attitude against it. Somebody get a what we're trying to say to you. Hallelujah. It's a liar. Father of, of it. Wow. I'm monitoring time. Hallelujah. You know, how did they get Adam and Eve? You know by lying to them? God said in Genesis chapter 2 verse 17, the day you eat it of it, you will die. He said you will surely not die. He used the same word of God. God said you will surely die. He said you will surely not die. <laughs> no, no, go and read it when you get home. God said you will surely die. He said you will surely not die. <laughs> he didn't say you will not die. He said you will surely not die. Genesis 3, I think 3 or something. Genesis 3, yeah. God said we surely die. Go back, go back to 2, 2, 2, 7, go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. 2, 17, you got it, but of the tree of life, then let your good, or you, you shall not eat. For the day you eat, you shall what? You shall surely die. That's what God said. Go to chapter 3. Immediately after that, chapter 3. Okay, go there. Who's there? From verse 1. 
Hallelujah. You will not die. <laughs> now the servant was more corny. Look, just, I don't know where you get all this idea. Satan is powerful. Bible never says they are powerful. He says always use the word corny. More corny than any beast of the field. You know? And the Lord, uh, the Lord made it. And he said to the, the as God said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. The woman said, no, God didn't say we should not eat, but the particular one and all that stuff. Okay, go to verse 3, please. Verse 3. Who is there? Yeah, but of the fruit of the tree of which is the midst of the garden, God said, you shall not eat of it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. God didn't say that. Go on. The serpent said to, he, to the woman, you wish, you wish, you will not surely die. God said you shall die. Say you will not surely die. Who, <laughs> who, who, who died? Didn't they die? They died. They surely died. They surely died. Uh, some of you have you always have argument with. They didn't die that day, right? Because God said the day you touch, you surely die. The day they touch, they die spiritually. They surely die. That spiritually they die because God are used to fellowship with again. When they saw God, they now, they now began to run away. Don't you know the day your husband comes in and you begin to you know, his presence irritates you. You don't want to. His voice doesn't. That relationship has what died. Said, but you don't also understand. Bible said a day with the Lord is like a thousand years. That's why nobody on earth lives to, to, to be a thousand years. No said I live to be nine hundred and something. He still died that day. It was still one day. Nobody made it. Nobody made it beyond the day. Up to now, nobody can make it beyond a day. So all this one, you are warning yourself, hey, ah, hey, I want to buy a car, how to do everything. You are just two hours here, old, two, hours, two hours old, that's all. As far as God is concerned, some of you are 15 minutes old. <laughs> Divide your year by 1,000. One hour old, look at them. <laughs> and you are impatient with God, one hour old. God, where's my husband, where's my food? Why, what to matter at one hour? <laughs> one hour old. You think God cannot keep you entertained for three hours before you go on to eternity? If you live up to be 100, divide that by 24 hours, 24 hours. You have lived for two hours, 40 minutes. At 100, as far as eternity is concerned. You think God cannot entertain you for two hours, 40 minutes? No, let's be realistic. You think God is so broke to keep you entertained for two hours, 40 You think God cannot do it? <laughs> Glory be to God. They say the day you do, you're going to die. And they died. Hallelujah. It was finally that asked Jesus Christ one funny question. Jesus said, he said, are you a king? He said, if I were to be a king here, he said, my, my, disciples, my, my soldiers will not allow me to be, to be delivered to your hand. He said, because my kingdom is not from here, that's we can't be talking on the same level. He says, I have come to testify to the truth that men may know the truth. You know what Pilate said? He said, what is truth? What is truth? You know, there are many people who are asking that question today. What is truth? Because to them, truth is relative. What is truth? So, you know, I've come to present the truth to you. Say, what is truth? Particularly if you meet those guys in no court. They believe they, they believe they have one higher knowledge. The Bible talks about knowledge that had they been the new, they wouldn't have crucified the Lord of glory. The Bible says knowledge that is doomed. That's what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. It says the knowledge of no, that knowledge of people that's already doomed. That knowledge is already doomed. That's what the Bible says. Go, when you get to go and read it, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, the Bible says it's already doomed. It's, already, it's, a, it's, it's a failure of knowledge already. We see Guru Maharaj, we sit under one flower. Doomed knowledge. Already doomed. My God. Hallelujah. So you want to know what, what is truth? Is it be gathered with belt of truth, right? You know, it's not Gucci. Be belt to truth. Hallelujah. Uh, you know what I'm laughing at? I just remember something. But I, I know they're watching me online. I don't want to say it. I know the family is watching, so I don't want to say it. You know, there's some belt. You will go and pick it. When you hear it, you will drop it. Just pick the bed. Just say 4,000 pounds. We just drop it. 
Because by the time you convert, <laughs> 2.4 million bet, your waist will shrink. <laughs> you will have indigestion. Anyway, anyway, let's leave that alone. Remember one time like that, some animal came to my house. And that the day when they were going, some of them came back. Ah, did the man get this too? He began to pack bread. He now went again. He now, said, he now carried my rucksack. He now said, ah, see this man's canvas. Wow. He just packed. I'm rubber. <laughs> I was hearing them. Stupid people. <laughs> he said, what do you do? I said, I'm a pastor. He said, don't touch him more. Don't touch him. That was like, don't touch him more. You want to touch a pastor? Don't touch. Let's just take what we want to take. He said, but in, in, in answer, baby, pray. He said, why, you are, why we are doing this kind of thing? Because you are not praying. You pray for us. <laughs> okay, okay. <That's, laughs> I'm serious. S- silly guys. Okay, let's go. They are their father. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, because of time tonight, I will give you two definitions instead of four. Hmm? Or will you do the four? Okay, we we'll just rush, Abby. Let's just rush so that we can start from a fresh somewhere next week. Okay, number one definition of truth. Because that man says, so what is truth, right? Hmm. First of all, let me tell you truth is not fact. Get that straight so we don't need to go ahead. Charlize wearing a white shirt, that is fact. It's not fact. So let's leave that alone. I don't want to be labeled. Number one truth. The number one definition. Truth is the word of God. That's number one definition. Truth is the word of God. Simple. Look, you want to know the truth, man? Eh? What is God's opinion about this matter? That is the truth. The word of God concerning that matter is the truth. God's opinion concerning that matter that is the truth. Eh, you know, eh, gay. God made gay. God made them that way. That's how they were wired. What is the truth? The Bible says male and female he created them. Where they get the third, God, the third and the fourth and the fifth one, we don't know. So the truth that male and female created he, them. I'm not condemning you if you are gay. I'm only saying it's not that's not how God made you. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The biggest sexual organ a man has is not prick. It's the mind. It's what we are thinking. That's why Pastor DJ can hold me from now to tomorrow. From now to 20... What was it? 2098. Nothing will happen. Not, in fact, if you hold me longer, I will say, I beg, leave me yeah. alone. You are disturbing me. But there's a way somebody will hold you. You know what I'm talking about? You, you, you're, you're not, you're not. It's just your mind. The same flesh, the same hand, the same face, it's everything. But the mind is different. And in case you think I'm joking, except, except Satan has decided to kill you. Satan has decided to finish your life. Let KK, you know, I want to see the way KK holds me. He will sit on my head. She will hold my head. She will, she will rock my hand back. She will give me punch. Everything. It does not occur to you. The same male. But I can't guarantee another female. <laughs> if you hold me like that, ah, I'm a girl. <laughs> you, you, you can always say like that. That is, is what the man. If your daughter holds you and your mother, ah, it's not the difference, so you need to go on that trailer. Let the trailer run or something. So that maybe, maybe by the time you. Because <laughs> some things I can't explain it. I bet you come back to your mother and say, hey, see my son, and your mother hugs you, and your body rises. You know, natural way, I don't know. I'm speaking in Yoruba to you. I don't know. Is what that means cause is follow you. <laughs> At least cause is <laughs> cause is fighting you. <laughs> the 
the same female, the same everything, but glory be to God forever. What is God's opinion about that matter? What's God's opinion about your finances? What's God's opinion about your health? What's God's opinion about your peace? What's God's opinion about your safety? What's God's opinion about your future? That is the truth. God's opinion. Not economic forecast. Not weather forecast. No coronavirus forecast. How many people will die? Mm-hmm. What is God's opinion concerning coronavirus? He said, no evil shall be, no any plague come near. That is God's opinion. For that, that is the truth as far as corona is concerned. No evil, nor any plague. Pandemic, no. Do you get? That is God's opinion. Ah, somebody will say, let anybody can die. That is, that is, that's it. But we have our own God's opinion that we have considered to be what? To be the truth. John chapter 17. John 17. John 17 verse 17. Everybody, John 17 verse 17. Are you there? What did he say? Sanctify them. Make them whole with your word truth. Your word is truth. Your word is truth. Not to be the truth. It is right now. So when you read this 10,000 years time, your word is what? Truth. Psalm 119 verse 128. Psalm 119 verse 128. Who is there? Look at what he says. Go, go, go to verse 127 so we can read it together. Who is there? Please, quickly. Therefore, I love your commandments more than gold. Yes, than what? Fine gold. Where you say commandments, say, I love your word. Because you know why you love more than gold? Because gold can perish. Value can go down. You know, crypto, ethical can collapse. Are you hearing me? Let's say you store your joy in Naira, in dollar. It can go down. In job, it can go down. He said, therefore, we say what? I love your commandment, your words, more than gold. Yes, more than fine gold. That verse 128. Therefore, all your precepts, all your opinions, concerning all things, I consider to be what? Right. God, what is your opinion concerning anything? I, that is what is right. That is why Paul said, now we know no man after the flesh. Because he considered that all those that I said about you, that boy is rude, that boy is arrogant, that guy is snobbish. That is their opinion. God said you are favored. God says you are blessed. Are you hearing me? The Bible says you carry the spirit of God. He said the greater one lives on the side of you. That is God's opinion concerning. Therefore, we consider God's opinion concerning what all things to be what? Right. Right. Do you get what we are saying right now tonight? That's the one definition of truth. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more. Let's go home. As you see, you see, see on this four. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can take three more. Okay. Number two. Definition. Number two definition is Jesus Christ himself. The person of Jesus. That's number two definition of the truth. Hallelujah. I rebuke the spirit of, 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 of uh, what do you call that guy? Um, Pilate in Jesus' mighty name. How can truth be standing in front of you asking what is the truth? May God open our eyes in Jesus' name. John chapter 14, verse 6. John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, What? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father and said, What? Through me. That means the only way that leads to God is truth. I am the way, the truth. Glory be to God forever, man. I am the truth. Hallelujah. Let me just be reading one more references so that we can, make, we can make up. We can catch up. Hallelujah. You know what Jesus said? He said, he said, I can myself say nothing or do nothing. As I hear my father, the same thing I say. 
The truth. The Bible says in Hebrew chapter, we'll write it down. Hebrew chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. Write it down. Please. You can go and read it at home. The Bible says, God, who at different times, Hebrew chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. Sorry, my sister, I speak very fast. Hallelujah. Hebrew chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. You know what it says? It says, God, who at different times has spoken to us by the fathers, has what in this last day spoken to us by his word, his son. The one he has appointed to be the word, the heir of all things. The express image of his person. So you want to look for the true representation of God. How does God look like? How does God behave? What, look at Jesus. When people are hungry, did he provide for them? God will provide for you. When they were sick, did he heal them? The Bible says he healed them all. If he healed them all, God will heal you. Every time they ask questions, even the one they were thinking in their heart, the Bible says he will answer them. We were thinking in their heart, he will answer them. If he answered their question, God will answer your questions. Do you understand what I'm talking about now? When they were caught in the storm, did he rescue them? God will rescue you. He is the express image of his person. When Peter missed it and he was sad, denying Christ, when Jesus rose to the third day, what did he say? He said, go and tell my brother. And Peter also. Mention his name specifically. When you are down, do you think God will send a message to you specifically? He will. He will. When you miss it, God will come out for you specially. Because where sin abounds, grace much more abounds. Hey! Did somebody guess what we're trying to say right now? That is the person of truth. Hallelujah. Number four, number three, definition. I don't want to explain to you. Number three, definition. The revelation of the Holy Spirit and divine encounters. They also, they are also, there is also a body of truth. Hallelujah. That's why I want to give for them. Because some of you, all oh, you know before, is the word of God is the truth. So, uh, it's what the truth. The person of Jesus Christ is also the truth. Because the word is written, Jesus, um, the word is the written word. Jesus is the living word. What is written, you want to see it living, moving, talking, acting. That's Jesus for you. Because what we read, sometimes we don't have to interpret. You need to somebody leave it. He lived it. So it, become, it became the living word. Why the other one is the written word? Do you get what we're trying to say tonight? So we go to, uh, what, what does I say right now? Revelation of the Holy Spirit. And divine word, I can't tell. Let me beg you. Hmm? I thank God I mentioned this point tonight. I wanted to reserve it next week. But, you know, let me say this to you. Some of you be believing God. God, what is your word? What is your will concerning the person I want to marry? God will show you the person. But because there's something about that person you don't really like, you will change it. You will not, it will not work. Nobody kicks against the word of God and it works. You can now go, if you like, eh? If you like, go and now carry written word. You will give me the desire of my heart. The eh, Bible says whatever we bind the night. The written word does not contradict the living word. Holy Spirit bears witness to what we are looking for. If you like, now go and be quoting from now to If you are supposed to travel and the Holy Spirit told you don't go anywhere, stay. Don't enter your car and be quoting. He shall give his angel a charge over me. I will not dash my You will dash your foot. So take you, you will not believe it. Because you have contradicted another body of truth. Do you get what I'm trying to say? This time? That's why we must bring this to, 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 bring to you what the whole song cancel of God. Because this truth, they don't fight each other, they complement each other. They don't compete with each other. Do you understand what I'm right now? They work together. Hallelujah. John 16, 13. John 16, verse 13. Oh, Father, we give you praise. The time is 7, 15. By now we should be taking our company. But I hope you got something here tonight, right? However, when he, that is the Holy Spirit, the, the Spirit of truth, what did God call him? What did he call him? What did he call him? What did he call him? 
So if you are looking for the truth, look at the spirit. See the spirit of truth. That's another definition of truth, the spirit. The spirit of truth. When he has come, it will guide you what? Into what? Or truth. Did you see right now? That's the Holy Spirit for you. That's the Holy Spirit for you. For he will not speak of his own authority. Do you see that? What? But whatever he hears, he will speak. He will tell you things what? To come. And that one says he will receive from me and reveal it to you. He will receive from me the living truth and give it to you. Do you get what I'm trying to say right now? Wow. I can go on and explain this place at me, awesomely. That's why I say I want to delay it next week. Let's delay it next week. Eh? I will come back to this truth. Ah, ah, because I'm already in a hurry. Let's, let's, don't worry, man. Come back next, next Wednesday. Let's co- well, pick up from here. Ah, my sister is harassing me. Because you want to travel. You will travel. You join us online. Voila, <laughs> yeah. I finished now, everything. No, go. <laughs> Because there are some things I want to bring out about this place that we must understand. How can somebody will just wake up? He said, because you read the word. You will not be acting contrary to the social of the Holy Spirit. How? How? No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It does not work. It doesn't work. Hallelujah. I will share some things with you on number four next week. It's awesome. Because there are things that God has put in the body of Christ for our prosperity, for our breakthrough. Hallelujah. 